Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. In today's video, we are revisiting a brand that I first reviewed almost two entire years ago. Today's video is going to be all about the brand Marion May and this video is sponsored today as well. I am so proud. It means so much to me that a brand I loved two years ago found this little old channel. Thank you so much, Marion May. As always, timestamps and links are in the description box below and the game plan for today's video is that I'm going to be sharing with you Marion May's sensitive and dry skin skincare routine, which includes three of the products that I reviewed way back, as well as the Blackberry Essence and two new products to me. Let's start out with a little bit of backstory on the brand. Marion May is a Korean skincare brand, but they are also a clean K-beauty brand. And let me tell you, without the high markups that we often see in Western Korea, clean beauty products. While clean, they also do stability testing, so you don't have to worry about the products going bad too quickly. It's so funny, I just talked about this on this channel. While no skincare product lasts forever, I can personally attest to these products not going bad or smelling off before their expiration date. This brand is cruelty-free with a lot of vegan options. They are also focused on sustainability, and that's something you can see in the packaging itself. You get recycled cardboard, and Many of the products come in nice, luxurious feeling glass packaging, which is my personal preference. And finally, in terms of ingredients, not only have these products gone through safety testing, but they are also willing to disclose active percentages and share with us all of the information about these products. That has been a big part of the appeal for me personally from day one. I wish all brands would disclose their active concentrations. I do want to note they often do it in parts per million, but keep in mind that is a very easy conversion to percentage if you understand percentages better. I have a sneaking suspicion that parts per million might be more intuitive to people in Korea, whereas percentages might be more intuitive to those of us in the West. They are the same thing at the end of the day. And as far as where to get this brand, at this point, I've bought them from Yes Style, Style Korean, and Style Vana, maybe Jolsey too, actually, which is all of the K-beauty retailers that I purchased from. But they also do have an Amazon store. If you'd like to check that out, I will link it in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get into these products next. Again, Marion May says this is their dry, sensitive skin routine. I just have to tell you how funny this is. When I received this package, I was going, this is so many of my favorite products from Marion May. Even way back when I first tried this brand, I found myself thinking, this is such a dry skin friendly brand. And the thing is, that's a little hard to find in K-Beauty. Of course, they have products for all skin types, but when they do dry skin products, oh, they do them so well. So first and foremost, one of the critical steps in any skincare routine, we gotta start with the cleanser. And this is one of their fully vegan products. It is the Vegan Low pH Hyaluronic Gel Cleanser. Gel cleansers as a category sit in this perfect in-between for me. They are not as harsh and stripping as foaming cleansers, but you do still get some foaming as these are not quite a cream or milk cleanser either. It's a really good in-between. This particular cleanser is of course formulated at a low pH to be less irritating for your skin. It contains 10 different types of hyaluronic acid and antioxidant rich red grape extract. And the brand says it's formulated to remove makeup and impurities. Now we've come a long way since my original Mary and May video. I was not sure what to do with K-Beauty cleansers back in the day. At this point, I wanna say, I think it is so, so helpful to use them a little differently than we often do in the West. In the West, we often apply our cleansers to dry skin. I am telling you with K-Beauty cleansers, foam them off your hands, add a little bit of water, and then apply it to your skin. It makes a tremendous difference. If you do that, this will not feel too drying nor too stripping. You know, I had to figure that out because again, it's different from what we do in the West, but I was getting comments from people saying, why are you applying cleanser to dry skin? That's totally the wrong way to do it. I feel like it's one of those things where you don't necessarily realize that different sides of the world might do things like this differently. It's cleansing your face. 
Who would have expected it? Our next step is Essence, and it is one of my absolute favorite products, the Blackberry Cream Essence. This one is a fully vegan and fragrance-free product, and it is so beautiful and so fun to use and so moisturizing. But before I get to that, let me show you this product so you get two layers of this product, your creamy layer and your essence layer. And the idea here is that when you shake this product, the cream dissolves into the essence and you get this beautiful creamy essence that quickly absorbs into your skin. So you really get both this hydrating and moisturizing experience. It is made with antioxidant rich blackberry and fig as well as soothing blue lotus. You are getting some jojoba oil, a ceramide ingredient, Sika, to help with strengthening your barrier. And as we recently noticed, this also contains some cyanocobalamin, that form of B12. This is such a tangent, but it's just so fun to me that this is such a pretty purple product with no dyes. They're using naturally blue and naturally red ingredients. It's a very fun experience that really does leave your skin feeling so comfortable. Our next step is serum, and it is the very first product I ever tried from Marion May, the Ida Benone Blackberry Complex Serum. So real quickly, let's chat about what Ida Benone is. That is a potent antioxidant. Remember, antioxidants neutralize free radicals, which makes them an excellent choice, in particular in my routine for in the morning, but you can use this serum day and night. I was reading up more on Ida Benone. It really is such a fascinating ingredient. In the Anki, it is that hydroxydecyl ubiquinone ingredient. So it is, of course, very similar to coenzyme Q10. But it's an even smaller molecule, which of course got me thinking, oh, so it should probably absorb better into your skin. You might even get more benefits from this than from coenzyme Q10. I'm going to put an article on the screen and in the description box below. I was reading through that and the authors had that exact same conclusion as well. This really may be a great ingredient, not just for antioxidant activity, but per that study, even for photo damaged skin. As for the product itself, it is a kind of light yellow color. That is not a sign it's oxidized. That's the natural color from the Ida Benone. Because while we're talking about an antioxidant, we're not talking about vitamin C, we're, we're pretty much talking about an alternative to vitamin C. So if you do find vitamin C, in particular L-ascorbic acid, to be a little bit too irritating for your skin to use because of the low pH required, this could be a good direction. In this product, you are getting 1,000 parts per million of Ida Benone, along with 20% Blackberry Complex. And I love a short ingredients list like this because we can really figure out what's going on. So the formulators combined that with Blackberry, Acai, and Blueberry. So you're really getting a complex antioxidant-rich formula. This is one of their most popular products, and the brand suggests pairing it with the cream that we are going to talk about next, the Ida Benone Blackberry Intense Cream. Oh, this is another one of my absolute favorite products. This is a new bottle here, so let's go ahead and take a look at the gorgeous texture. It even comes packaged with a scoop. We love that consideration. Oh, this is such a perfect texture for those of us with dry skin. It's so interesting though, because it's not just a heavy cream. It's got some kind of a, a lighter feel to it. I don't know if I'm gonna do this product justice in trying to explain it, because it both feels lightweight, but also very nourishing. But let's talk about the formula. It contains 63% blackberry complex in addition to Ida Benone, plus five different forms of ceramides, multiple forms of hyaluronic acid, panthenol. It reads like a nourishing product because that's how it feels as well. The brand said they did testing on this to see how moisturizing it was, and it lasts for 48 hours in terms of its effects. Again, this one is such a good moisturizer, especially if you have been looking for something more nourishing, something that is going to have a lasting moisturizing effect without feeling too mattifying. We talked about that before, how some of the creams that are very heavy are for some reason a little mattifying on our dry skin. A moisturizer that is a perfect texture for under makeup, all while being fragrance-free, non-irritating. This is such a hit. 
Let's talk about eye cream next. We have the tranexamic acid and glutathione eye cream, which really is one of the more unique Korean beauty eye creams that I've seen while still retaining that giant size. K-Beauty brands are so generous with the size of their eye creams. 30 grams, 30 grams. And I love the packaging so much. This, this to me is perfect eye cream packaging. As for the product, this is formulated for your eye area. So you will notice that it has tranexamic acid and glutathione and a bit of vitamin C, but at lower levels. And this is important in an eye cream where it needs to be formulated to be more gentle. This has that perfect texture for me in an eye cream where I look for something that is not too light, not too heavy, that perfect medium weight that also works nicely under makeup, under concealer. And don't feel like you have to use this only on your eye area. You get a lot of product in here and you can certainly use this all over your face. We have but one final step in our routine and it is, of course, sunscreen. I am so glad they sent this over. I've been wanting to try this for ages. The Vegan Peptide Bakuchiol Sunstick. Oh, it did not disappoint. This is SPF 50 plus, PA 4 plus, and it glides so nicely on your skin. That to me is the most important characteristic in a sunstick. I've talked about this kind of a lot, but I like to use sunsticks for touching up my makeup. You can use them as your base sunscreen, but make sure you apply heavily. See, I've talked about this before, but I don't prefer sprays because they're just too unpredictable. You are probably not fully coating your skin. You get a much higher likelihood of coating your skin with the way that you apply a sunstick. And what a formula. This, of course, includes those newer K-Beauty filters that we know and love without Tenosorb M, so it does not leave a white cast. The antioxidant Bakuchiol is included at 1%, and get this, 25 peptide ingredients. And again, this is another vegan product from the brand. No beeswax. Not that it's any of your beeswax. <laughs> what do you call someone who isn't a father but loves to make dad jokes? A faux pas. Jokes aside, this is using synthetic beeswax, so you still get that shape and that feel of a sunstick, but in a vegan formula. And that's it for the skincare routine. What a wonderful routine this is for dry and sensitive skin. Wearing it today under my makeup and my skin does not feel even slightly dry. And that's it for today's video. If you are interested in the brand, check out my links in the description box below. A big thank you to Marion May. And I also wanted to say, if any of you would like to hear my updated thoughts on even more Marion May products, let me know and I will make a part two. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all next time.